sexual perversion is demonic. And those who have sex and mess around with sexual things outside of the covenant of marriage between a man and a woman also open themselves up to possession. Wait, whoa, possession? Possession? Like, like you're gonna get, like, literally possessed by a demon if you masturbate? Damn. If that's the case, then, whew, man, there must have been, like, a lot of demons who possessed me. Hmm. Why didn't I feel... Would it, wouldn't I have been possessed already? I mean, it's been a few years now. Hmm. Curious and more curious. Hello everyone, I'm with me, and today we're gonna be responding to a video called Sexual Perversion is Demonic. And now that I know this, I, I, I need to stop, because I could be possessed by a demon. I'm surprised no demon has possessed me in the years and years and years of of my lust. But, you know, what is, whatever, you know, it's demons, right? You just gotta stop, alright? Oh, man, it just sucks. I'm gonna miss Melina from Mortal Kombat. What? I didn't say that. What are you? No, I didn't, didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. It's it's not like lust is a thing that happens in your brain and chemicals that cause you to want to mate. No, no, it's demons. Sexual perversion is demonic. And those who have sex and mess around with sexual things outside of the covenant of marriage between a man and a woman... Oh no, did you catch that? Did you catch that? Uh, let me replay it for you. And those who have sex and mess around with sexual things outside of the covenant of marriage between a man and a woman. Outside of the covenant of marriage between a man and a woman. Yep. Mmm. This is, this is gonna be a fun video. The Holy Spirit gave me a terrible warning last night the holy spirit gave you a terrible warning last night uh in a dream oh in, in a dream of course well, and in this dream i was in a large cathedral sort of building and this cathedral building was full of prostitutes um hmm in interesting dreams you got there the town that this cathedral building was in considered this um, building to be haunted. I knew, though, that it was demonic activity that was happening inside this building. It was not good. I didn't want to see the things that were going on, so I lay myself on the brick floor... And I stretched out my arms with my face to the ground. <laughs> what? Okay. I know dreams are weird, but damn. Alright. <laughs> so you got a cathedral, and it's full of prostitutes. And the people in the town believe that that cathedral is haunted. Wow, what a dream. <laughs> I mean, usually when I dream... I dream about being Spider-Man and swinging around New York City. But when you have dreams... The only problem was I could still hear the prostitutes going to and fro, here and there. And so I lifted up my face. I was curious. <laughs> you sound like me when I was like five. Like when, when, when something... When some nudity went on TV, I'd just be like, oh no, and then I'd cover my eyes. <laughs> and as soon as I lifted up my face and looked around, I fell into lust. Even though I knew that it was demonic, even though I could see the demons in them, I still fell into lust. Damn, really? Even I wouldn't fall into lust. I mean, so there's a chapel 
that's that the town says is haunted and it's full of prostitutes i would not fall into lust with the prostitutes there because they're probably ghosts or something like in this hypothetical scenario they're probably demons like you said like i would be scared this was the end of my dream i awoke from this dream and i was very disturbed I don't like to entertain myself, my thoughts, with sexual perversion. Man, what an interesting dream you got there. You know, I, I think it might be like a metaphor for something. Like, everyone around you says that this lust, this sexual perversion, as you say, is bad. But when you look around, you're like, huh. It isn't so bad after all. But of course you wake up and you make it out to be like it, it's this thing that just claws away at your soul. When it, in reality it's not. Like it's not that at all. It's just something that the brain does. So I asked Jesus, I said, what did this mean? And Jesus spoke to me these words. Holy crap, Jesus speaks to you? You're more crazier than I thought. And if Jesus does speak to you, then why didn't he speak to me? So many questions and no answers. That's why I'm an atheist. Which I wrote down, he said, Do not judge, but warn people of sexual sin. Oh yes, warning. This totally normal thing that happens to everybody is sin. I cannot judge you. I only judge myself. And I warn you about sexual perversion. Sexual perversion is any kind of sex or perverted sexual activity that is outside of marriage between a man and a woman. <laughs> he said it again. Oh, man. And if you engage yourself in any of this, it allows yourself to become possessed, or, at very best, demonically influenced. Man, everybody at my high school must be possessed by demons or demonically influenced then, because... Damn. All right, all right. So, at best... <laughs> demonically influ Jesus, man, you'd think there'd just be this outbreak of people being possessed by demons, like, in every freaking, every day, there are, like, five people who are possessed by demons. You would think, like, there'd just be this huge outbreak of just demons possessing people all the goddamn time, if this were the case. But it's not, so, uh, hmm... Curious and more curious. It's almost as if what you're saying is not true and you're pulling all of it out of your ass. If you want to be pure before Jesus, you have to come out of this world. You have to come out of the things that are demonic, even if they look good to your eye. And you have to seek Jesus. Man, I guess I'm going to have to tell my parents to get rid of the Xbox because it demonically influences me. What a shame. There are many demonic um, sexual perversions. They come in many forms. They come in the forms of the movies that we watch. It comes in the form of basic media. It comes in centerfolds. It comes in these magazines. It comes on TV. It comes on billboards. Holy crap, are you about to delve into some like Illuminati satanic everything around you is controlled by the all-seeing eye conspiracy theories here? Because if you are, I'm down for it. <laughs> it comes between... <laughs> I come to. It comes between um, gay marriage, homosexuality, man and a man, woman and a woman. Oh, damn, there it is. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. It comes in the form of masturbation. It comes in the form of pornography, which is online or anywhere. And it comes in so many different forms. Everywhere is saturated with it. If you want to get your eyes off of this, you have to seek Jesus and ask him to pure, 
to purify you, to purge you, and to make you clean. The only way is to get your eyes on Jesus completely. What kind of a dick do you have to be to dictate everybody's life? Like, oh man, you're just being such an asshole. Like, <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't accept the fact that people do things that make them happy. You can't accept the fact that a man loves a man. You can't accept the fact that the woman loves the woman. You can't, you can't, because you're, you're insane. You're stupid. And you're insane. Do you want to be pure before Jesus? <laughs> yeah, lust over Jesus. I do not judge you. I cannot judge you. Yet you are judging. I can only judge myself. And I can only ask myself, are my eyes on Jesus? And I can warn you, are your eyes on Jesus? Because if they're not, Satan will get the best of you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Damn. It's like, it's like Jesus is one wall, and Satan is everywhere else. Man, Satan, I can't believe Satan has so much influence. Damn, God really needs to step up his game. Oh boy, what a video. Man, uh, it, it really, it's just really sad, really. Like, the dude's homophobic, he, 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 he doesn't even want to look at the booty. It's, it's really sad. Ah, man. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly didn't. Please leave a like if you did. Or did not. Just like, please. And as always, <laughs> I will see you in the next video. What's my, what's my outro again? I forgot my outro. Uh, just, um, I'm, I'm sorry.